Well, you want to help Darth? You want to stop Darth Vader? You ever see that thing where, like, there's a little girl that did, like, this thing at Disneyland where you're supposed to... It's like a Jedi school where they, they give little kids lightsabers and they have to, like, oh, do little Darth Vader. and Darth Vader was like, pledge fealty to me, and she was like, okay. And she, like, like got on her knee and she actually pled fealty to Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Knelt in front of everyone. <laughs> and the crowd went nuts. It was amazing. <laughs> but anyways, welcome to this special Christmas episode of Losers. Fucking Losers. Yeah. Everyone, all of these fucking losers, it's a fucking losers round. Yes, welcome to Hunger Games special episode. Because we want to give you oh, by the some way, holiday the, cheer. Yes, and I will tell you right now, none of this, the winner of this will not make it into any champions round. They do not get redemption. They're just the least losery yeah, of the losers. Yeah, this is just a Christmas bonus. They get a slight chance at a half redemption. So we've got Brandon Lee. We've Who's got dead? Koenig. Who's dead? We've got Guile. Who's not dead? Ivan Drago. Who's not dead? Harry. Who should be dead? Master Chief. Chief. Yeah. We've got Shulk, Eddie Sheeran, Insanity Wolf. We've got Gleg. We've got a banana. We got a Nintendo 3DS, which is almost dead thanks to the Switch. I don't think the 3DS is going to die anytime soon. Well, it is literally the, the mm. biggest money maker right now. Uh, the Switch is too rapidly going to take over. The though. Switch is not even like a tenth of the income that the 3DS made mm. them. Well, so we got Fox. We've got Nightmare Foxy. We've got Patrick. We've got the Yeti. Fucking Yeti. We've got Arachnaman. Arachnaman. <laughs> Rice Gum. Orochi. The Troll 2 guy. Oh my See, god! See? He looks just like the fucking dude. Like he's doing that fucking face. You need to be looking up when you do it. Now look like you're being jerked off by like a person with sandpaper in their hands. I didn't say and fucking enjoy it, you fucking fag. We got Daryl Dixon, we've got The Fallen, we've got Wendy, and we've got Adrian Neville, who should not be on this list. I can't believe what they're doing to him. Well, he, he's just going to be on Lucha Underground eventually. Actually, there's still negotiations to bring him back. They're trying to keep him. They're, they're not going to Because they know him. how good he is. No, he's, he's going to be on another show. <laughs> we'll see. All right, and here Did we go. Did you know that the fucking the young bucks were gonna be on Lucha Underground? Hopefully they do. Instead, uh, they were gonna actually gonna be the ones forming the fucking uh, Johnny Mundo's little gr click group. They were gonna be in that group. Yeah. They didn't offer them enough money apparently, mm. but they probably will be offered more money now because Lucha Underground can't do a season four, and they need more. Star power because it's not, they've lost a few people. Yeah, imagine seeing the young bucks working with Johnny Mundo. No, I'm just imagining Johnny Mundo joining the Bullet Club. Imagine, mm. well, well, that would be a fucking amazing. Imagine mm. young bucks versus Pentagon. <laughs> well, okay, no, I'd say Pentagon teamed up with no. Dante Fox. No, you know, big team up. Here we go. Young bucks with the Worldwide Underground. PJ Black, Johnny and, Mundo, Johnny Mundo, and uh, or Jack Evans, Jack Evans, and uh, fucking Taya. Well, no, but she's just, part of the fucking yeah, no, group. This is a five on five match, though. Okay, five on so five. The Young go. Bucks and the guys of Worldwide Underground versus Rey well, Mysterio, the, Ricochet. No, I was Phoenix because <laughs> I was going to go with Aerostar, Phoenix, Drago. Come on, the, Pentagon, Dragon Azteca, and Pentagon. Just this uh, lucha fuck, mastery. I want to watch fucking Pentagon break the <laughs> Young Bucks' arms. Don't you want to see that? Well, I, I think Pentagon would be the only guy to be able to break out of the cease and desist. Uh, Which is yeah. the sharpshooter crossface combination. Yeah, he probably would, because he's fucking... Pe like, he'd probably, like, counter it and turn it into an arm break. And that would be fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready for this? Did, is, just so you guys know, Pentagon, or as he's El better Penta known... El Cero Miedo. ...is probably the most over-wrestler on our channel. Oh, yeah, By we, which it means, he, we, we will give 100% props... To oh, yeah. Pentagon. <laughs> Which, oh, man. I mean, I there's was, plenty of other wrestlers. I want to find a way to watch the match. They announced that Pentagon is teaming up with the great Muta, Keiji Muto of Japan, who is one of the... Like, the Muta scale, which rates the bloodiness of matches, is because of a great Muta match. Yeah. And the two of them are going to fight fucking Sammy Callahan and Johnny Johnny Mundo slash Johnny Ultra slash John, John Morrison slash... Let's see, Johnny Nitro A Spade Mundo Ultra Impact. That's actually going to be a fucking incredible match. And I hope it's as bloody as hell, too. Oh, man, Pentagon's going to pull out light tubes. Oh, man. Sammy Callahan and the Great Muda are just going to, like, stab each other over and over oh, again. Oh, man. Gonna, Sammy Callahan's going to stab Muda. It's going to get a two count. Muda's going to get up, stab Sammy. It's going to get a two count. <laughs> <laughs> And then Pentagon breaks everyone's arms. And no one taps out. Nobody taps out. 
Oh man, can you imagine Sammy Hallahan <laughs> getting his arm broken by putting on in a match? Dude, Sammy Callahan would get his broken arm and turn it to me and just throw his arm around at people. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. We're 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 talking about <laughs> we're talking about wrestling, wrestling too much. Let's watch these people fucking die. Okay. I wouldn't want you guys to think that that's all we talk about. But that match is fucking hype, and I want to see it. Indeed. All fucking New Jack! <laughs> no, Indeed. you know we don't really need New Jack. <laughs> Let's see. Imagine if New Jack took on the Great Muta. That would be the... the I, I, think you know, I think New Jack is kind of over with us, too, isn't he? Just, just because there's a murder bonus. <laughs> New Jack is so crazy... He would literally break a bottle, like put it onto his erect cock, and stab people with it. Yeah, that's how he would fight. Uh, oh shit, I'm blanking on his name. Fucking the guy who's the '70s porn star guy, J Joey Ryan. Yeah, that's how he'd fight Joey Ryan. It'd be glass dick versus iron dick. You know what's weird is on being the lead, they're hyping up a match between Joey Ryan and Hangman Page because they both have a gimmick of having giant cocks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're so, gonna have like a dick fight. <laughs> nice sword fight. Yeah. So, so Master Wolf, Chief and Eddie Sheeran are fucking dead. By the Insanity Wolf. And apparently, who Poplio uh, didn't gender right because Wendy is not a girl. How do you know? Anyways, do you look at her? Look, look inside her cloaca. <laughs> do you spread it open and look in there, see if there's a little coily reptile penis. Anyways, Fox kills Guile. So Master Chief is the loserest of losers. <laughs> yes. He's, he's, I want to go back to other losers rounds and see who like the Hall of Shame is. Because we have a Hall of Fame. For we our, don't need a fucking... They don't uh, deserve recognition uh, for being shitty. Uh, that's what a Hall of Shame for. It's, it's like the Razzies. It'd be, you, it'd you be shocking. If, I want Brandon Lee to... I kind of want him to win just because he didn't win in life. Yes. Or in our Hunger Games. <laughs> like, at least let him kind of <laughs> give, him some, give him some chance of redemption. <laughs> The Yeti is dead. <laughs> he ate them with his Yeti mouth, <laughs> yeah. covered in Yeti bandages. Indeed. Let's see. don't don't stalk Fox, Brandon. He I don't mm -hmm. think he's got blanks in his gun to kill you with. No, <laughs> he hasn't been fixed. <laughs> oh man, he'll fuck you to death, right in your crow hole. Yeah. <laughs> insanity and, Wolf is fucking killing everyone. Murder streak for Insanity Wolf. Jeez. At least it's accurate, right? Yeah, I know. Fucking Harry died to a Home Alone trap put up by Rice Gum. Indeed. Oh, man. Arachnid man. Fuck off. <laughs> when, when will Dr. Dolph Lundgren win? I want Dol Dr. Dolph to win. That would be Goodbye, nice. Nightmare Foxy. You're uh, except you, you asked for it, and oh. instantly he's dead. Oh, I'm just glad the fucking Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> shit is dead, because fuck <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Fuck your fucking shit. Yeah. Fuck your fucking night trap game. Yeah. Because that's all it is. It's fucking night trap. But shitty. Night trap was already shitty. <laughs> night trap was kind of yeah. shitty. But at least it was... At least you could be entertained by night trap. Because there was full motion video happening. And the video that was there was stupid. Fox kills Patrick. Good. So both Fox and Incendio Wolf are on their way to killing sprees. Oh man, banana wounds. Oh, Daryl Dixon kills the fallen. Nice. That thing sucked. Um, I know. Oh. Well, oh. Murphy, Night Trap is definitely shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you are correct. It is good shit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, Fox, Fox, Fox the... is having sex. Mm, samurai sex. His fucking what? I'm trying. The, the one line that gets stuck in my head was you talking about his fucking frenulum. <laughs> <laughs> Volpine frenulum. Stop talking about his fucking frenulum and his pre cum. For some reason, oh, oh, I barely remember much of that fanfic other than the fact they fuck. Except for the way that you pronounce the word frenulum. <laughs> his pre cum. I put as much emphasis into it. As you put too much fucking emphasis. It's stuck in my fucking brain, and I have not looked at it. By the way, Brandon, mm. Brandon Lee is not the last dragon. Nope, because he was dragon-raged by Jonah Hex. Anyways. And everybody saw that and ran for their fucking <laughs> lives. <laughs> they, took it to, they, they crapped themselves seeing it. Dead. Fucking dead again. Oh man, he's getting to get that banana up his ass. <laughs> oh, and Sandy Wolf shacks up with Daryl Dixon and just bends him over. 
So he got bent over by a wolf? Yeah. Oh, man. Downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Super Mega Death Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers! <laughs> Fuckers! <laughs> so, Fox is stopped from getting a kill streak. Fox didn't have a kill streak, did he? He had, he had three kills. Oh, okay. Insanity Wolf's got the most. He's got four, so if he gets one more, he's on a killing spree. According to traditional. When does he get to Kilimanjaro? That's like 30, dude. That's not 30. No, Kilimanjaro is like nine kills at is once. It like, it's like nine or ten. But at once. A killing spree well, is... Well, it can't... It has to be... Yeah. yeah. It's... it's I, I would... The thing is, I just don't know. Never it's killed banana. by a banana. By a tainted banana. Oh, man. He, he's going out just like X-Pac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Super Aids gets to Shulk. <laughs> Oh man, that not pink the... dildo sword will not save you. From and the Nintendo 3DS Super kills Hades. Daryl Dixon. Cause screw you, The Walking Dead sucks. And we have the feast. By the you know feast is run by Indian scammers. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good job, Pop Leo Twitch. Good yeah. job. It is choked to death. It was definitely you, and we're mm. telling everyone that it was you. You racist fuck. <laughs> wow, what's wrong with Indian scammers? <laughs> oh, Rice Gum contracts the Super A's as well! Yes. Mm. Yes. Let's see. Come on, Arachna Man. <laughs> Live, Arachna Man. Oh, someone. More crap. There's a banana growth. <laughs> <laughs> a banana tumor. <laughs> banana tumor. Oh, man. And Sandy Wolf doesn't want to get reach Killing Spree because he's afraid he's going to die if he gets a Killing Spree because everyone's going to target him. Apparently. That's what I'm guessing. Because he's refused to kill three people now. Oh. And he falls into the frozen lake. Just as it should be. As all. Cool. So we are down to a banana, the Nintendo 3DS, a Rakdaman, and a Rochi. They're all losers. Yes. One of them will be slightly less losery at the end of this. You know, even if a Rakdaman wins, he still mm. loses at life. That is true. <laughs> but let's see what happens. Actually, you know what? If a Rakdaman wins, we're going to watch an Rakdaman wrestling match. <laughs> eh, but he doesn't. He doesn't. We're down to a banana and the 3DS. Which I can be with okay either. I like the banana. I like the 3DS. One of them is full of potassium. The other one you... Oh no! The Brotherhood of Steel invades! And a sniper sh just murders the 3DS. So, delicious yellow fruit. So, potassium for the win. Delicious bananas. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, are the least losery of yeah. these loser things. Mm -hmm. So. Well. And if you want this code, you can thank Poplio Twitch for... For putting, making fun of Indian people. Yeah, for putting this together. If you want the code, there it is. There's the fucking code. Thank you all for watching this triple threat of Hunger Games episodes. And if you're on YouTube, you can watch all three episodes. That's the Sarahist of Miedo. Sarah Miedo. Sarah Miedo.